Let's get into this camera. So today I gotta get dive into this deep, deep, deep this camera. So I gonna show you all the settings I set for photos, videos, and JPEG and raw photos or videos. So. Basically, there's a lot of going on in this camera because I already go through a setting I already know how to set properly and Sometimes I need to test it out if I need to take the perfect shoot. So It depends on photos videos because all the settings different. So yeah, it depends on weather as well. So weather is a big main things for photo shoot because you need to set the exposure, ISO, and highlight and all the stuff and yeah so you need to go through all the things and so first of all let's talk about my lens is 55 to 210 is stabilizer on that obstacle steady shot so this lens is the perfect lens for the sh photo shoot in my opinion so this lens I prefer to shoot on videos and photos because it's very useful because it can zoom all the way in all the way out so when I shoot very close up shot I will zoom in to 200 because it's quite close because close shot need to be very close a wide shot you need to shoot at 16 I have other lens but it's not working now so I prefer this lens for now yes for now because Sony it's a good company for a lot of lens and this lens is quite cheap at the Sony lens shops or it's a cheap lens in Sony shops so it's like 500 AUS and the other lens is like 500 AUS as well so it's a thousand dollars for both lens but it's a cheap lens for like Sony world lens because nowadays less people use this kind of lens and I don't know everybody prefer like G Master Sony G Master if you know it's like G Master photos is like like super sharp and you can zoom in when you take a photos and when you want to zoom in on your laptop you will see like very clear but this kind of lens is like when you zoom in on the computer it's like like messy like a lot of megapixels around and all the colors is just destroyed the photo is just like destroyed so I won't able to zoom in on my laptop if I want to zoom in as a G Master lens because G Master I haven't get it because expensive you know the glasses and all the things is included in one lens and camera is not a big problem but the lens is a big problem because you shoot from the lens so you need to think about it before you buy the lens and the camera so yeah i prefer sony x64 because you can shoot s-log s-log is the things i'm looking for for a long time and yes it's that camera is sick like pretty sick because so when you shoot in like a64 as lock you can shoot in indoor and outdoor and the exposed like it's gonna be balanced when you shoot at like when you shoot a window inside of the room and the room is gonna become dark you can test it on your phone as well it's the same problem so that's a problem for all the people and that's a big problem as well like for me shooting on this camera is a big problem as well so yeah the opposite is like when you shoot indoor the outdoor is gonna be super bright it's overexposed so that's the things you need to go through it and s-lock is the perfect things to go so make sure you buy a right camera for yourself and see what kind of things you are looking for so I prefer Sony. Canon have like Canon. It's pretty good company because I used before in school. But Sony is I prefer Sony. Like 
Sony is a good company and they have great camera but a big problem is it's very easy to overheat the camera like very easily so this battery you make sure you go get more I have free battery now so make sure you go get more and the C fast car as well like SD cards I use 64 gigabytes and this from a very old SD card because nowadays I don't need to buy it because it costs a lot of money and I prefer to save that money to buy something else so so okay let's go through the settings so this camera is an EX5T if you are looking for it it's 2004 I prefer yes 2004 and it should Full HD like 1080p 30 frames doesn't have 60 frames so that's a downside so yes it can shoot videos photos and a lot like 16 megapixels is like pretty dang good like 16 megapixels so it's good yeah it's good but still in future are going on for maybe a bit higher megapixel like the photos can be more interesting and more color so more megapixel is like in the photos have more thousand and billions of colors the sony color science is not good as canon because Canon have better color science as you know you can do some research and I already know a lot of people are talking about it so I know this so I know a lot of things in this camera and in, in the world of the camera world like Sony Canon is top two camera or the filmmaker is taking it so yes there's a lot of downside in this camera so it's not very professional it's just like hobby but yes as you see it's an old camera it's six years old like six years old but yeah so first of all let's talk about setting let me change the camera a bit so as you see there's a setting there's like a lot of shot mode and i shoot super autofocus sometimes but there's a lot of settings and different things to going on and program auto i'll talk about a bit later this aperture like yeah just shutter speed and manual and landscape and the thing the thing is like there's a lot of in in setting like this camera in here so a lot of things going on there's sports you want to shoot sunset it's all set by itself like it's pretty dope like pretty dope and intelligent auto but i prefer super auto like it's all set by itself but most of the time i'll shoot at a because it can change your aperture and sometimes i will change to manual so manual is all manual you can shoot like I'll show you a bit you can set the ISO by yourself like ISO and I shoot a hundred but over a hundred is like pretty bad because it's just merged like it looks pretty bad so and I can shoot like f stop like f10 I prefer sometimes 4.5 it depends on your lens so I prefer like f10 yes and aperture shutter speed all those things you need to set properly so yes aperture is the f-stop so shutter speed is the things when you shoot at this when you push down and it would just you know, you know just you would shoot at photos or videos but you know because yes it just depends on the things you are shooting and when you are shooting at night like the lights in my instagram account i show you this photos let me show you three two one so this photos is shoot by a long shutter speed like a pretty pretty long shutter speed so I need to change all the way down to here 
but when you change down to the end, it'll be pretty fast. It's like just, just like before, I just shoot it, show you. Yeah, yeah, I just show you before. Like it's just long shutter speed, and you need to shoot like wherever you like. So it's a good thing to play on it, play on your camera. So yes, and let me show you about my settings, like. Yes, I already tell you ISO shutter speed aperture and that's all the top three things and so I can shoot raw on this camera only photos sorry not videos because I prefer shooting videos in the future like raw is a good thing to put some lights out of your photos so it's a bit of downside and because shooting raw you need color grade the photos so it's probably I play on before, but I didn't use very often if I want to say so I should raw like sometimes indoor outdoor but not very often So this is the white balance and I set it auto but sometimes I'll shoot in beside the sun and daylight and shade and cloud I'll just change it so there's a lot of things going on and there's some multiple autofocus and focus ISO, you know, and there's some color science between here and you know, there's some filters in there, and I don't know, just doesn't, it's not that useful. It's very easy to say, is like the filters because I will color grade by myself, and I don't need the filters inside of the camera because it. It's not my thing, so so this can shoot continue shot like a lot, like ten shot. So you can shoot uh just click, you know, that's like ten shot. I prefer just have a look, have a check. Okay, that's like ten shot. I click on this, so it's pretty dope. Like it's pretty good. So I mean. This continue shot is pretty important for me because sometimes you won't get the perfect shot as a shot. So does that make sense? But yeah, just easy way to say is like when you shoot on one thing, one movement, and you just have one chance to get that shot. I will just shoot continue shot. That's more easier for me. And for you guys, I don't know, but I prefer continue shot because. Sometimes I won't get the best shot in my life or in school. Last last week I didn't take perfect shot, so I all shoot continue shot. Then that day I think I shoot like a thousand photos like in four hours. So that's a lot of photos I know. So continue shot, you need to pick the best photos in your camera. So that's why I shoot a lot of photos. In this camera as well. This autofocus and manual focus. So manual focus, you just tap and you adjust manual focus. So as you see, there's a square moving on. Uh, here, it's just disappear. I don't know why, but yes, yes. So that's like tracking autofocus. So maybe it's like manual focus. For me, it's manual focus. So whatever you want code and this cannot shoot 4k 60 frame no and 1080p 60 frame no and no slow motion and only 1080p 30 frame i always use like the best quality i can use in my videos or photos because you know being a filmmaker of course you need to take your best things out of yourself so i must shoot at the best quality on this camera and now a day is probably as simple as this and this lens so so this camera is pretty impressed for me for beginners I prefer so that's pretty dope like this camera come with me like half a year and I play around and I know all the settings and I prefer play around next camera looking for it and maybe next few years I'll change it because I won't able to shoot 1080p always like I know 
every camera come out at 1080p the quality is different because it's different megapixel so so this 16 megapixel i prefer 24 or 30 megapixel my quality will be better in 1080p so don't think like 1080p is always looking good but i don't know just being normal and being more megapixel will be better for image for my photos so that's very important for all the things for this camera. So yes, this cannot input microphone. So it's HDMI and USB. Yes, you just USB. So for charging and this can connect with my phone, but I never used this it. too slow. I'll just use CFast car. I just call this SD car or CFast car. I don't know, just calling it what I like because you know and I can stabilize on this camera like down here so this is the things I stabilize on my tripod and all the things and this camera is 4 frame doesn't crop so it's as you see it's 4 frame so when you crop it will be smaller than the square so and I didn't use ND filter for my older camera because you know I have the lens cap so I don't need for now maybe in future when I get professional I will take an ND filter because you know my I'll getting improved and in the future and I'll get boring on this camera in someday but now it's pretty interesting just yes but different camera doesn't tell like better stories but you know i'll talk about the stories about my videos and all the things like every video should have one story in the future but maybe i'll talk it in the future vlog or in someday or tomorrow i don't know but and this camera has a flip screen it can go on the top but i don't prefer this because you cannot input microphone on here so in future I'll change to like just change to a flip screen that can go in right hand side like in your left right hand side in my left hand side so yes I probably won't use for my whole life using only one camera it's impossible I will change to different kind of camera and play around of course before I buy I'll looking for all the settings in the future cameras setting like so the best Sony camera is like a7 mark 4 like this kind of camera but it's bigger and heavier and more cinematic and more megapixel and better than this is shoot 4k maybe 6k raw footage but I don't know it's shoot 4k 60 frame 120 and 240 I prefer and 1080p can shoot like 480p maybe 720 can be 4 720 I don't know just it can be pretty slow motion so this cannot do anything with slow motion it sucks like really sucks it's pretty good camera but not very professional it's for beginners I'm a beginner only getting to half a year I prefer this one is okay for me but it does a job so I have no idea what to say with this camera but because this is my first camera so the best camera in Canon is 1DX Mark 3 so yes that camera is sick pretty sick if you just like similar like Sony best camera like A7 Mark 3 is just like best camera in the best in the market like now in the market the two best cameras Canon and Sony like let both point shoot camera this is called point shoot camera because you can point and shoot and don't need to like bring a cinematic camera and put it on the shoulder it's massive like that's insane i cannot carry that all day my shoulder will be broken maybe but i don't know in future i might get into it i don't know but i know the downside about the sony but not about the canon because i'm not a big fan of canon i use Sony all day every day like using this battery and every day you change one of it and need to recharge and all the things I need to do every single day so every day I'm getting touch of camera so I guess that's the things I'm doing rest of my life so because 
it's getting pretty dope my footage and my videos and as you see yesterday that I released the short film that look pretty sick like pretty sick I use only a total of three camera one the drone one of a small camera one of the this and maybe the future the teacher have shooting some for me some photos and yes I'm getting filmmaker role like every day just touching camera and playing around and you know I have a lot of things going on and I haven't finished totally one thing so it's a secret but I will tell you in the future so maybe give you guys some surprise and yes I haven't finished that small project maybe medium project but not too big but you know the things is going on pretty well and yes every day my videos my vlog is shooting like 10tp 60 frame I use the other camera or I cannot shoot on this camera because it's too tight this lens and the other lens is not working so yes I'm sorry about that lens but I will learn like every day this vlog can be like 30 gigabytes like it's a lot of storage like a lot take a lot of space so i need a hard drive i already have a hard drive like four terabytes so four tb if you don't know i already show you before it's a hard drive like putting all the stuff like back up all the youtube videos or my short film the most of things is my short film because my short film have a lot of storage sometimes it shoot at 4k raw or 6k raw but you know I need getting through it so I need a lot of space in my laptop in the future this laptop can handle all the things I'm putting at now like it's every day it's like my computer is like a rocket it's like one fan is like burning all night like that's sad I mean <laughs> but in future I might change another laptop but I don't know someday but it still work but some days when I edit it would just like pump it up and just really bad I need to close it and open it again close it and open it again and that sometimes doesn't work really well so I hope someday I can get a new laptop mm. because it's quite old like five years old but 2005 and yes it's like five years old next year is like six years old and this will be seven no no eight eight years old no seven seven years old so yes all the things is getting old and you know i need to go through all the stuff and looking for it so yes i will keep using this laptop for maybe one or two years i don't know but still work well but sometimes when the fans start you know when the heat coming up it is really bad I mean, like when I slide to different screen it's just like stopping all the time and just not that good so I'll stop complaining because there's a lot of things to complain but nothing I think now is the best thing to create my new project and planning some new project so Yes, so that's all for today, like camera, go through all the settings and all the stuff, so yes, I'll talk about in the future about my 4 terabyte hard drive, maybe, I'll talk about all the stuff around me, around my camera, maybe my phone can shoot raw, maybe, no, maybe, no, that's impossible, uh, the phone cannot shoot in raw, maybe. But my phone I think can shoot in 4K 60 frames so don't tell me you don't have camera to show or create like every day you are carrying a daily camera you can shoot whatever you want and photos and videos and you can do slow motion on this really good like you just need to put the videos on the laptop and slow down the footage if you want to do a videos or a photo shoot you can call me like you can send me an email and tell me or color grading your photos I'm free to do that because I already help 
one of my classmates or yes, I already helped one of my classmates to edit the photos and color grading. I just helping them and teaching them how to color grade or the first time color grading is not that good for a new user. So as I said before, I'll talk about in the future or this video is gonna be too long. It's like 40 minutes, 30 minutes video. It's not that good. So yes, there's a lot going on and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, Saturday. And hope you have a good weekend. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.